Hi, my name's Amanda. I'm a pharmacist. Today I'm continuing my top 200 drug series with part 3, GI medications. We'll be looking at what the drugs are for, their generic and brand names. First we'll start with the stomach medications. These are for acid reflux and ulcers. First there are the H2 antagonists, or H2 blockers as they're also known. These work by blocking the action of histamine at the histamine 2 receptors of the parietal cells of the stomach to reduce acid. They're used for the treatment and prevention of ulcers and GERD or acid reflux symptoms, including heartburn. These end with the suffix idine, I-D-I-N-E. First is ranitidine, which is Zantac. This one is actually off the market, but I included it in my presentation because it is still in the top 200 list that you'll see. And there's also famotidine, which is pepsid. Next are the proton pump inhibitors, or PPIs. These work by blocking the final step in stomach acid production by irreversibly binding to the proton pump of the gastric parietal cells. These are used for the treatment and prevention of ulcers and GERD. They have more acid suppression than the H2 blockers. These end with the suffix prazole, and there's omeprazole, which is Prilosec, Pantoprazole, which is Protonix, and Esomeprazole, which is Nexium. Next are the antiemetic medications. These are for nausea and vomiting and motion sickness. These, first there are the antihistamine antiemetics, and these work by blocking the histamine H1 receptors in the brain that can cause nausea and vomiting and motion sickness. These include Promethazine, which is Phenergan, and meclizine, which is antivert. Next are the 5-HT3 antagonists. These work by blocking serotonin receptors in the brain that can cause nausea and vomiting. And this includes ondansetron, which is Zofran. And next we'll look at a few other GI medications. First are medications for constipation. These work by increasing the amount of water the stool absorbs in the gut. And the laxative type may also be used as bowel prep prior to GI procedures. So first there's docusate, which is colase. This is a stool softener. And then there's polyethylene glycol, which is Miralax. And this is more of the laxative type. Next, there's a medication for irritable bowel and cramping. It's in the top 200. And um, these medications work by slowing the natural movements of the gut and by relaxing the muscles of the stomach and small intestines. And this includes dicyclamine, which is bental. Thanks for watching. Please like and share this video with others who may find it helpful. And please subscribe to see more of my drug information videos. Thank you. And up next, we'll be looking at continuing with our top 200 drug series with part four seizure medications. Thanks for watching.